this video we're going to look at how we can show equivalent fractions using pieces of paper. I'm going to use A4 paper, but any type of paper will work as long as the different pieces of paper are of a consistent size. Now I've got one sheet here, so it's one whole, or one unit, so I'm just going to write one on it. And put it to the side, we'll need it later. I've got my second sheet of A4. This one, I'm going to fold in half. There's two sections. But I only need one of them, so I'm going to put one over two and a half. I'm now going to cut this, trying to keep it as straight as possible. And I'm going to put my half across here with my hole. Now with my other half, I'm going to fold this again. And on this one, because it's not a half, it's half of a half, it's a quarter, and this one is also a quarter. And I'm going to cut those. And we can see now that we've got the one hole, We've got a half, and we've got two quarters. So we know that two quarters are the same as a half, because they take up the same amount of space, which means that two halves make a whole, or if we make some more of these, we should have four quarters, which are the same as a whole. So let's try that. Let's go back to our original number, our original piece of paper, fold it in half. And we do the same idea again. So this time, this one is going to again become a half because there's two bits, but I only need one of them. And I'm going to cut that carefully. Again, I'm going to fold the remaining piece. And like last time, this is actually not a half because it's half of a half. So it's a quarter, but this time I'm not going to colour this one in. Just going to cut this one off. And now, if that's a quarter, and we fold this one, that must be half of a quarter, so it must be one eighth. And we'll do this one as one eighth as well. And again, we can cut those out. And now we can see that two eighths combined together to make a quarter. We can see that two quarters combined together to make a half. And we can see that two halves combine together to make a whole. And we can keep on going. So instead of having just stopping at an eighth, I could take my eighth, make another one, fold it in half, cut it, and we'll end up with two sixteenths. And we could do the same with that. We could fold the sixteenth in half, and we'd end up with two thirty seconds. And we just keep on going. And the nice thing now is we can start to lay these out. So again, we can see the uh, two halves. So if we now lay on the quarters on top, see that two quarters are the same there. We can see that one quarter and two eighths are the same as a half. So one, two, three quarters plus two eighths will also make a whole. And keep going. Let's see how small we can get. What's the minimum size we can get to? and still be able to combine it together into making a whole.